Aloha everyone. Here's the tutorial for Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. So I played the song for my 100 Days of Ukulele Songs project. You can click up here to check out my original version. And a lot of you guys commented that you wanted a tutorial. Well, we got to give a shout out to the Patreon patrons. They voted for Here Comes the Sun for their monthly tutorial. If you're interested in joining us on Patreon, you'll get an opportunity to vote for tutorials, get early access to core charts, and you can even upgrade and join me for a monthly live jam. So you can click here and find out more about Patreon. So the uh, Patrons have spoken. They wanted Here Comes the Sun. You guys want a challenge. There's a lot of finger picking going on in this song. So I, in preparing for this tutorial, I decided that we actually need another tutorial first so that we can learn to read tablature. Uh, tablature is finger picking notation. And there's a ton of finger picking in Here Comes the Sun. So first, visit the My Girl tutorial. There, I give more of an explanation of uh, the basics of how to read tab. So once you have that foundation, then it will be a lot easier to tackle this song. So please uh, check out the My Girl tutorial first. And you'll also need a chord chart because you need to see all of that notation. So check the link below to download a chord chart. So once you have a chord chart and once you know how to read tab, then we can tackle Here Comes the Sun. All right, shall we do it? <laughs> okay, so now that you have your chord chart in front of you, we're going to skip the intro picking riff and move to the next section first, which is the chorus. We play the chorus a lot in this song, so let's learn that first, and it, it will give us a little more foundation for learning the rest of the song. We start with an island strum on G. Yay, we can do that. Ready? So G, we go. Here comes the sun. And we pause right there and we go to the box on the right that says do 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 right we're going to read that tab uh, we have the strings G C E A and then we have the numbers going across which tell us which fret we're on you might remember from the my girl tutorial that I said uh, a lot of finger picking revolves around a chord shape we're already in the G chord shape so the do 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 do's are in the G chord shape, which make it nice and easy. So we're going, right, if you read in the box, we have a two on the A string, so that's second fret A string. Then we have three on the E string, right? That's third fret E string, that's this fret. Then we have open zero on the A string, so you lift up your middle finger, and then you put your finger back down for two on the A string. Okay, so in total it sounds like do 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 two three oh two. All right, I'm gonna get nice and close now, so you can see in the left hand you're basically holding that G shape, and then you have two three. You just lift up oh two. That's all you do for the left hand. Now the right hand. Okay, you're just using those bottom two strings the middle finger and the ring finger. So you're going two, three, oh, two. One more time. Okay, and when you put them together, two, two. Okay, so if you know how to read tab, then it's really just a matter of being patient, getting the left hand to work, the right hand to work, right? The left hand has to pick up fingers at certain times. The right hand has to pick the right string at the right time. It's just getting patient and working out all of that timing. So practice slowly, just like that, you know? And sit there and be like, two, three, oh, two, two, <laughs> until it all makes sense. Okay, now with the strumming, We'll start from the top. It goes, here comes the sun, G. Here comes the sun, do, 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 do. Then the next line is C strumming. Here comes the A7, sun, so and the C, G. It's all right. Okay, now we have our chorus picking riff. 
Um, again, it's based on the G chord shape. So we'll, I'll play it through for you so you can see what it looks like and then we'll break it down left hand, right hand again. All right, so I'm gonna read through the numbers. Okay, so we're, you, we got our G chord shape here. So we're going two, four, add your pinky for the four, four, three. You gotta lift up for the open. Then lift your pinky, two, three, open. Lift your index, open, three, open. Add your pinky back, I mean index back up, two, three, open. Then this next section's a little different. Three, two, Okay, it seems kind of weird to comprehend it that way. So let's try to do left hand, right hand here. So you got your G chord shape again. Okay, so reading the chorus picking riff, we have two pinky, four, three, lift up, open. Right, then lift your, uh, sorry, lift your pinky, two, three, open. Now open, three, open. Two again, two, three, open, three, and now move your middle finger under here, two, oh, and now to the C string, two. Okay, now let's move to the right hand here. Get nice and close. Okay, so we go two, well, I'll try to get both hands in there. Hmm. Two, four, three, open, two, three, open. Open, three, open, two, three, open, three, two, oh, two. So just go back, review that, play that a bunch of times. Okay, up to speed a little bit. It goes two, two, four, three, open, two, three, open, open, three. <laughs> I know, it's a lot to put, put it all together. Let's try the whole chorus, nice and slow, from the strumming. G, two, three, four. Here comes the sun, do, 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Here we go, two. That's our chorus. We're going to revisit the chorus a couple of times with some additions. So it's good to practice that chorus and get strong with the chorus. Okay, so now let's look at our intro picking riff. We'll go back to the top and it should be a little bit easier now to um, read all of that notation. There's so much going on, but the nice thing is that it's based around pretty easy chords. Right, so the bass chord here, uh, we're gonna move from G to then C and then D. Those are all chords that we know, right? So if we start from the top, our, our first column of notation is O, two, three, two. Right, open, two, three, two, which happens to be the G chord shape. We're gonna mostly be in this shape. Okay, we're gonna pluck them all because there's numbers in on every string. So we pluck all, and then we go two, three, oh, two. We've seen that before, do, 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 do. Okay, so that's our first measure. Pluck, two, three, oh, two. Now let's look at our second measure. We'll read it slowly, I'll get a little closer. We'll go three, two, two, open. Now, left hand nice and close. Still in the G shape. Okay, just the second measure. We go three, two, two, lift up, open. Three, two, three. Right, you hardly move from the G chord shape. Now let's look at the right hand. We got 
three fingers going on and there's quite a bit of movement so we'll go slow second measure we go three two two open three two three one more time with the right hand three two two open three two three okay so let's put those two measures together nice and slow we'll go from the top full chord g g two three oh two second measure three two two oh three two three all right now we'll keep going next measure is c chord okay oh 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 three that's how we notate our c we're going to play it all okay then we move three move uh through here c chord i'll keep reading it it goes two Okay, again, left hand nice and close. We're starting with the C chord. C, two, use your middle finger, two, open. Then your ring finger here, three, oh, three. So there's a lot more movement from the C there. Uh, it's just something that you can practice and get used to. So we'll, we'll play all, oh, right hand, right hand. There we go. Okay, C. The C chord measure, C, two, oh, three, oh, three. One more time on the right hand, C, two, oh, three, oh, three. Okay, so we'll put it, that all together. Chord, three, two, oh, three, oh. Then we move to our D measure, D, right? Our D is two, 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 zero. So we're plucking all of them. Okay, and then in this one, we're mostly just moving our ring finger. So we'll read it across from the D. D, O, two, three, O, three, two. So left hand, you're moving that ring finger mostly. D. Oh, two, three, move into the third measure. Oh, three, two, after that you hold everything. Right hand, D. Oh, two, three, oh, three, two. One more time with the right hand. D. Oh, two, three. Okay, so let's try to put the whole first line together slowly. Here we go. Okay, so we go G, two, three, oh, two, second measure, three, two, two, oh, three, two, three, C measure, C, two, oh, three, oh, three, D. Okay, so uh, what's nice about this intro is that the second line is just like the first line, except we stop at the D. So I'm gonna play both lines through slowly. You can always rewind and review this. All right. Let's do, I'll just get close up. Oh, sorry, I should. Let's see I'll just get close up so that you can see both hands here. Okay, so then you can look at what you need to look at. Okay, from the top, intro picking riff all the way through. And G, two, three, oh, two. Second measure, three, two, two, oh, three, two, three, C. Second measure, three, two, two, oh, three, two, three, C again, two, oh, three, oh, three, and on the 
D, D. All right. That's your intro. You're going to practice that until it becomes fluid. So that's our intro. And then you're going to play the chorus, which we already learned. And then you're going to go to the first verse, which is just island strum. You can handle that part of it. And then we go back to the chorus, except we add an extra fill at the end. So an extra fill is just a couple extra measures of uh, finger picking. Um, there's going, it's extra fill number one because after the next chorus, there's going to be extra fill number two. They're similar, but they're different. <laughs> okay, so let's play through our chorus again and then add our extra fill. It's good practice. So chorus with Here Comes the Sun, G, two, three, four. Here comes the sun. extra fill number one. This is on page two of your chord chart. Yes, this chord chart is four pages long. Okay, extra fill number one, it looks just like our uh, intro picking riff. It's the G chord and then the D chord with a few extra notes. But if you look at extra fill number one, G, the G measure looks like G, two, three, oh, two, and then we add a two open we just add that much and then we go to our d measure d o two three o three two the d measure is identical to what we played in the intro picking riff the g very close add a couple of extra notes okay so let's get nice and close okay i'll just play with both hands visible extra fill number one we go g two three o two Two open, lift that ring finger. D O two three O three two. All right, that's extra fill number one. Now let's look at extra fill number two. Right, so after that, we're moving through page two. We got verse two, island strum, chorus again, and then we're going to play extra fill number two. So let's just skip right to extra fill number two and look at it. We have. The G measure, that's exactly the same as what we just played for extra fill number one. And then the D measure is just two hits on D. You can see we have two, 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 zero. That means the full strum. You can strum it or you can pluck it. So we do it, go D, D, and then you're going two, two, open. So you don't have to move anything in the left hand, right? Left hand is just, uh, stays on the D shape. Right hand goes Right? You're hitting that chord twice, and then you go two, two, open. Now this two, two, open, we're going to call our lead in. It's going to lead us into the bridge, and we're going to use that lead in uh, throughout the bridge to lead us back to the bridge chords. So just a note on that so that we can use that later. Let's play all of chorus uh this this chorus with extra fill number two that's the chorus on the bottom of page two all right here we go strumming g two three four here comes the sun do 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 here comes the sun and i say it's all right chorus picking riff two four three open two three open open three on D, D, lead in, two, two, open. Okay, now we go to our bridge. The bridge has a new chord pattern, and we're going to pick through the chord pattern three times, and then we're going to strum through the chord pattern three times. So let's start with the picking, right? So the chords are B flat, F, C, G, and then our D7, and then our lead in. Um, 
the picking is purely based on the chord shape. So there's not a lot you have to do with the left hand that isn't what you would do anyway while you were strumming. So let's go to our B flat and read through our notation. So on the right hand, we got, ready? Three, two, one, same pattern for F. Two, oh, one, now move to the C. Open, 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 three, open, island strum on G. Two hits D7, now our lead in. All right, the lead in goes right back into the pattern and we're gonna play instrumental the first time, but the second time, two times you pick, you're going to sing the sun, sun, sun. So let's do that nice and slow with the lead in actually. We'll do lead in B flat. Sun, F, sun, C, sun, here it comes. Two hits, lead in. Let's do it again, B flat. Sun, F, sun, C, sun, here it comes. Two hits, D7, lead in again. Okay, now we're gonna strum that the exact same pattern. So you'll notice that B flat has three strums. F has three strums, and then C has five strums. That's just one of the quirky and awesome things about Here Comes the Sun, that the bridge is really crazy. We have three, eight, three, well, the, it's technically three, eight, three, eight, five, eight, and then back to four, four in terms of timing. If you don't understand that, don't worry about it. But the upshot is three strums on B flat, F, three strums, and C, five strums. And then back to your island strum on G. And then on the D7, I like to do something a little fun, and I go down, up, down, up, down. So you gotta practice to make that fast. And then you go back to your lead in. So if we put that together with the singing, it goes like this with the B flat. Sun, sun. I didn't do the lead in. We'll do it one more time. Strum. Sun, sun, sun. Here it comes. I don't strum. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay. And then the last time we strum, we go to this interlude. Just play regular island strums here. I do something a little funky in the original video. If you can figure it out, go for it, but I'm not gonna explain it right now. It's just, it's too much. So let's do that last line with the interlude. Singing, sun, B flat, strumming. Sun, 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 here it comes. And then move to the D, island strum D. going to repeat the chorus one more time and then that takes us to our coda which is our ending so our coda basically takes us back to the it's all right in the chorus on the G we go it's all right and we go into the chorus picking riff the nor way we normally would in the chorus except the end is a little different here for the coda we're just going to do two strums on D so let's play that final picking riff actually we'll do it's all right picking riff chorus picking riff two four three open two three open open three open two three open three two 
and now we do two strums on D. All right, now our final riff is the bridge riff. That's uh, jazzed up a little bit with a full strum on the first beat. So we got B flat, right? So we're going to strum it. You can strum it with a, a full strum or you can pick it. I like to strum it. Two, one, right? So it, it looks just like the bridge riff except that we're strumming that first beat. So strum, two, one, F, O, one, C, O, O, three, O, and then our final strum. Okay, that's the whole thing. That's Here Comes the Sun. So all I gotta say is practice slowly. Take your time with it. Um, build up strength and agility in those fingers and you can do it. I know you can. So when you do it, uh, I hope that you will record a video of yourself playing it, upload it, send me the link, and I will be excited to share the videos that I get from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon community. It really is a lot of fun to be jamming with people online and just to have a go-to place for ukulele, everything ukulele. Okay, so happy practicing, practice slow, practice five minutes a day, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright.